Longwell is ready to kick this one downfield and get this game started. Here we go. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He makes it to the 22. Camarillo was there for the stop. And coming to the field, the quarterback, who hopes to lead this offense to victory in this game. They'll set up shop at the 22-yard line. First down and 10. Still looking for an open man. Tremendous effort and good teamwork by the Vikings. So the sack on first down brings up second and long. Dumps it out right. And with that, let's take a look at some of the key starters on offense. A group that hopes to put up some points in this one. And Chrissy is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. Thank <laughs> you. 
He's wrestled down around the 33-yard line by Griffin. It's first and ten. Ball is on their own 33. Goes through his progression. Has a man out to his right. Time to meet the defensive starters who are built to stop the run by being strong up front. Defensive tackle Kevin Williams out of Oklahoma State anchors a defensive line that is extremely strong. Well, that's because Kevin Williams is extremely strong. He's one of those few guys who can power through a double team and wreak havoc in the backfield. Looking for a man. Fitzgerald was the intended receiver. They're facing a third and ten. Ball is on their own 33. Passes out to his right. What happened there? Well, the defense was in zone coverage. They got good pass protection. And any time that happens, it tends to really stretch those zones and widen the holes. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own, 45. Looks for the safe, short throw. And the tackle was made by Antoine Winfield. Breston picks up about five yards with the catch. So second down, the offense needs about four for the first. Dumps it out left. E.J. Henderson was there to bring him down. They line up at the 45. Going down the middle with it. Fitzgerald was the intended receiver on the play. They line up at the 45. Short throw to the right. Antoine Winfield was there for the stop. Good defense all over the field that time. They had the deep routes covered, and when they tried to dump it off to the tight end, they were on it. The offense has looked very good on third down so far on this drive. Going two for two. Let's see what happens here. Short throw to the left. He's tackled around the 38-yard line by number 96. So, it's fourth down. The Cardinals are lining up to punt it away. Yeah. 
He angles it out of bounds at the nine. So now the quarterback comes onto the field, and in conversations with him earlier in the week, he mentioned that he really wanted to get going early and get into a rhythm. Let's see if he can do just that. They'll take over at the nine. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Flips it out short to his left. The stop was made by Kerry Rhodes. Let's spotlight some of the key weapons on offense in the passing game centers around receiver Percy Harvin out of Florida, who is a very good deep threat. Uh, even if you have a great running game, it's important to have some method for stretching the field, and Percy Harvin provides the deep threat that takes a lot of pressure off of this running game. And Chrissy is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. Let's take a look at the players who lead this defensive unit. It's anchored by the veteran presence of safety Adrian Wilson, who played his college ball at NC State and who I know you think, Chris, is underrated. Absolutely. I can't think of another player with his credentials that is so overlooked, and he probably doesn't get the public credit he deserves. I guarantee you quarterbacks, they're well aware of him, that's for sure. Passes short right side. And the tackle was made by Adrian Wilson. You know, it really wasn't a horrible call that time by the defense, but any time you have to try and stop an offense like this in those medium yardage situations, you really have to come up in the coverage. And we'll have a first down and 10. off to the right hit and drop behind the line one of the tough things about trying to get a quarterback block is how athletic those guys are if you're a fullback or an offensive lineman or somebody out in front trying to make that block it's just tough to get a hand on those guys they're quick So they line up at the 18. Ponder gives it up the middle. Gets about four on the play. Gain of four on the play. They're looking at third and nine. So they have the ball on their own 21. Passes out to the left. He's dropped down around the 32-yard line by number 28. First down and 10. Inside handoff. And so at the end of the first quarter, we're all even. And welcome back to Glendale. They'll need about three yards here on second down. He plays it safe and throws it away. He was in danger of getting sacked, but he did the smart thing and threw the ball away. 
And Gus, that awareness is something he's really known for. When trouble's coming, he has the good sense to get rid of it and take the loss of down rather than the loss of yards on a sack. And really, over the course of a game, this helps keep them out of a lot of second and third and long situations. Not to mention, keeps him from taking unnecessary shots as well. Inside give. The stop was made by Adrian Wilson. Looked like one of those old-fashioned rugby scrums there. A lot of big bodies piled together and nowhere for the running back to go. Fourth down. The Vikings lining up to punt. At the 25-yard line. And from their own 25-yard line. Has a man to his right. From their own 29-yard line. Uses a stiff arm, but the defender is still able to drop it. The Cardinals seem to be unstoppable on the ground so far. They're ripping off big chunks of yardage at a time. It's first and ten. Anderson flips it right. Pick up a four. Number 34 gets the call. Gain of four. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on their own, 45. He's in trouble, and he can't hold on to the ball. Arizona is able to fall on it. Sometimes there's nothing more interesting than a fumbled football because that oblong-shaped football really makes for some interesting bounces out there. They were lucky to get that one back. So the sack brings up this third and very long situation. Searching for an open man. Number three. Pass rush almost got there that time, and uh, he has to feel a little lucky that that ball just fell harmlessly to the turf. It's fourth down. The Cardinals line up to punt. Camarillo takes it at the 25. They really did a good job keeping him contained on that one. No question about it. He needs a little more help out of his blockers than he got right there. This is a dangerous guy, and if he can get in some open space, he can create some problems for you, but just no space to be found there. Tucks and runs. He's free. And he's tackled around the 40-yard line by Peterson.
First down, 10 to go. Peterson gets the ball. Adrian Wilson was there to bring him down. Racks up seven tough yards. That'll bring up second down, a couple of yards needed to convert. They'll get the call again. He fights forward to about the 49. Darnell Dockett was there for the stop. So that'll bring up third down. Just a couple of inches away from picking up this first down. And he throws it away. We'll probably see the punt unit here as that incompletion brings up fourth down. It's fourth down. The Vikings are lining up to punt this one away. The punt rolls into the end zone. Touchback. They'll set up shop at the 20. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Dumps it out right. And the tackle was made by E.J. Henderson. Well, you can see that play fake really frees the defense just long enough for the quarterback to get the ball into the receiver. Second down, and they're going to need just about three yards to pick up the first. Has a man short to his left. Throws it into coverage. Easily intercepted. To the 10. Wow, he closed on the ball quickly and came up with the interception. Yeah, he took a risk going for the ball there because he didn't have any help behind him, but... When you're that good at closing and attacking the ball, you can certainly afford to gamble occasionally. And it's amazing what talent will let you get away with. The offense is now knocking on the door inside the five. Ball on the five-yard line. And they get to it. Effective blitzing can really destroy an offensive game plan because you're so used to having time to develop plays down the field. Now you come with a good blitz and the quarterback just doesn't have time to get it off. The offense sets up seven yards away from the score. And we're at the two-minute warning. The NFL on EA Sports will continue after this word from your local station. Peterson takes the give. They can't bring him down, and he's in. Adrian Peterson can beat you in so many different ways, and I know he keeps offensive coordinators up at night trying to figure out ways to stop him, but uh, guys, don't bother. I mean, really, what are you going to do? Just try and hold his yardage down. That's your only shot.
Longwell puts it through, and it's a seven-point game. Minnesota is up a score. Minnesota looks ready to kick it away. Number 36 is deep, looking to return the kickoff. And he'll return it from way back at the three. He brings it back to the 23. Henderson was there to bring him down. They'll go to work at the 23-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. They're going deep. Derek Anderson is not the most accurate passer in the league. He lets balls get away from him sometimes, and uh, occasionally they're fairly easy completions. Second down and seven yards to go. Ball on their own, 23. And looks left. Throws. It's almost picked off. It's third down, 10 yards for first. Has a man out to his right. Tip pass, and it's picked off. The stop was made by Larry Fitzgerald. The Vikings. Defense has come up with two big picks now in the first half. First down and 10. He's still on his feet, looking for a receiver. He looks like he might have been injured on that one. Now in a second and long following the sack. Decides to run. He finds a lane. The defense has been all over him today, so it looks like he's going to try to make some plays with his feet. Yeah, he definitely looks rattled out there, and that's not to say that this guy can't run, but a quarterback should really be thinking pass first and using the run when the opportunity is there. Sidney Rice was his intended target. Under pressure, he felt the heat that time and was forced to throw it away quickly. Fourth down. The Vikings are lining up to punt it away.
who bounces out of bounds at the 11. And now this offense will set up with excellent field position with a chance to cut into this lead. They'll start at the 11. It's first and 10. Passes short right side. He gets knocked out of bounds at the 24-yard line. There's nothing better for a quarterback than to have a big body guy like that that can catch the football. Nice play. First down, 10 to go. Looking for a big game down the middle. Second down now following the incomplete pass. It's now second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 24. Throws it over the middle of the field. E.J. Henderson was there for the stop. Yeah, running backs today have to be really complete players. You mentioned the fact they have to be able to catch the football and make plays on the outside. But blocking is so key as well. You have to be able to do it all if you're going to be playing halfback in the NFL. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Short throw to the left. He's dropped down at about the 41 by Allen. Number 83 catches it for a gain of five. Goes through his progression. Breston was the intended receiver on the play. Third down now, five yards to go. Ball on their own 41. Dumps it short. That's a first down right there. Might want to play them a little tighter. Maybe even go to the man coverage. Yeah, it's pretty tough to play a zone coverage against this quarterback. He does a great job in recognition and that time you could see him move the zone defense just a little with his eyes before he threw it in there and quarterbacks love the screen pass not only do they get an easy completion but it also slows down that pass rush just a little The field goal unit is on the field. The kick is good. And with that, the score is the Cardinals. Three, the Vikings. Seven.
Well, with only a few ticks left on the clock, they'll probably just kick this one short to end the half. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Daryl Washington was there to bring him down. They'll start this drive at the 22. And we'll have a first down and 10. Ponder hands it off straight ahead. Dominique Rogers Cromarty was there for the stop. We played a half of football, and our score is the Vikings. Seven, the Cardinal. Three. Welcome back to Glendale. Minnesota will get it first here in the second half. He'll return it from the one. Gets it to the 21. Williams was there to bring him down. They'll take over at the 21-yard line. First down and 10. Peterson, the ball carry. It's second down and eight to go. So they have the ball on their own 21. Hands it to the back. Adrian Wilson was there for the stop. Here they go, third down and eight. Ball on their own, 23. Got him. And that couldn't have come at a better time. It will now be fourth down. I don't think there's any play in football that's prettier than a perfectly executed blitz. If you time out the snap count, if you disguise it, if you don't tip it to the quarterback, you end up with results like that. Big sacks, big plays. Fourth down. The Vikings line up to punt. Roberts fields the ball at the 34. That was really a good effort. There wasn't a ton of room for him to run, but he was able to get up the field, get a few yards. You never get upset with a punt return guy like that. It wasn't spectacular, but he got the job done. Ops for a short throw. Intercepted. He's tackled around the 43-yard line by number 63.
They line up at the 43. Ponder hands it off. Nice gain of nine yards. Nine yard gain on the play. And two yards away here on second down. Again with the run. He's brought down around the 31-yard line by Campbell. It's first and ten. Daylight! And he's tackled around the 26-yard line by number 28. It's now second and five. Ball sitting at the 26-yard line. Inside handoff. He's wrestled down at about the 23-yard line by Davis. short yardage situation here they'll need a little less than a yard to convert passes it short rice was the intended receiver And they'll attempt the field goal. This one from 40 yards away. And the kick is good. Ryan Longwell is good on the try, and they take a seven-point lead. It's ready to kick it away. Number 36 is back to receive the kick. He'll take it from the two. He makes it to the 22. Henderson was there to bring him down. They'll get the ball here at the 22-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Give to the tailback. And the tackle was made by E.J. Henderson. Henderson makes his fifth stop of the game on that play. We've got second and nine yards to go. So they have the ball on their own 21. is out to the left and he drops the short pick Breston was his intended target
They're looking at third and nine. So they have the ball on their own 21. Passes it over the middle of the field. E.J. Henderson was there for the stop. And when you get a wide receiver with that kind of talent on the outside, he is a threat to take it all the way on any play. So it's first down, following the big gain through the air. Gives it left side. Makes it to the 38. E.J. Henderson was there to bring him down. Three-yard gain on the play. Second and seven situation here. Ball on the 38-yard line. Hightower on the counter. The stop was made by E.J. Henderson. The offense facing another third down here. Running out of time. And now they'll be facing fourth down. I really like how they attacked the quarterback that time. Good looking defensive play. It's fourth down. The Cardinals are lining up to punt this one away. Goes into the end zone for a touchback. Well, their offense will now come onto the field in excellent position, already leading in this game. They'll go to work at the 20. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. It's the tailback. And the tackle was made by Adrian Wilson. Yeah, the offensive line did their job. They created enough of a seam to get him up into the secondary, and then he was able to explode from there. And we'll have a first down and 10. Ball on their own 34. The stop was made by Gerald Hayes. And that's the end of the third quarter. The score is 10-3. And welcome back to Glendale. The Vikings have a one touchdown lead and the ball as we start the final quarter. Peterson gets the carry. Gary Rhodes was there for the stop. Five yards. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. Ponder hands off. Adrian Wilson was there to bring him down.
They line up at the 48. He's dropped, and that's a huge sack. He gets the sack, and the offensive lineman didn't have much of a chance. <laughs> he delivered a perfect swim move, and he was into the backfield in a flash. That's a kind of his signature move, if you will. And he's had a lot of success using it to get to the quarterback. And it didn't look like the quarterback even saw him coming. Yeah, he gets back there so fast that even if you have quick reaction time, you're still going to get sacked. The offense comes to the line here with 14 to go following the sack. Peterson gets another carry. He's dropped down around the 45-yard line by Campbell. Third down once again. Let's see if they can convert this one. Tucks and runs. He's free. Gerald Hayes was there for the stop. Boy, in that kind of situation, you just think that if they're going to pick up the first down on you, they're going to have to do it throwing the football. But that time, the quarterback got out in the open field and got it done. First down and 10. Ponder hands off to the left. That's a gain of two. Gain of two. And they line up at the 28. Dumps it out left. It looks like he was able to bring it down in bounds. They'll discuss it. So after conferring, they give him the catch. Great hands, great footwork. That was really well done. Number 32 on the run. If you want to be considered one of the top quarterbacks in the National Football League, everybody has to be able to cover. But the top guys can not only cover, but come up and make big hits like that. Tremendous play. And the kick team is on to try this 43-yard field goal. The kick is good. Makes the long one with room to spare. It really was, wasn't it? There are no field goal kicker jokes going on on the sideline right now. Just a lot of love. Minnesota will be kicking off. Number 36 stands back to field the kick and takes off from his own goal line. He makes it back to the 25. Camarillo was there to bring him down. It's first and 10. Dumps it out right. Second down now following the incomplete pass.
It's now second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 25. And he's crushed as he lets it go. Just missed that time, bringing him down for a sack, but great pressure to force an incompletion. That brings up third and 10. Ball on their own 25. Has a seam down the middle. Number 14, with the catch. Game three. Looks like they're going for it here on fourth down. He's searching for a receiver. He's tackled at about the 43-yard line by Lieber. Searching for an open man. He's brought down at about the 49-yard line by Lieber. Checks down to the short pass. Yeah, you don't have to worry about one like that being intercepted. Nobody on the defensive side could have got that ball. Looking for a man. Doucette was the intended receiver on the play. They line it up at the 41. Good coverage downfield. And the tackle was made by Chris Cook. Pretty good job by the defense that time. They took away the deep throws, forcing the check down, and then they were there to make the tackle for a short game. And complete tackle. Number 11, the intended receivers. So the officials want to take another look at this catch to make sure the receiver was in bounds. And sometimes these receivers could be pretty good bluffers out there. Remember, the officials have to try and watch the hands and the feet at the same time. And every once in a while, you can get away with a little bobble. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is overturned. And upon further review, they conclude he didn't have possession. You know, I don't think you're ever going to convince that receiver that he didn't make that catch in bounds. So we'll just have to move on without him. He's not happy. Has a man to his right. The stop was made by Chris Cook. They'll start this drive at the 33-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Peterson on the inside handoff. Arizona. Gary Rose was there for the stop. It's now second and nine. 
Ball on their own 34. Peterson off the left side. The Cardinal will take a timeout. That is their second of the half. Third down now. They'll need about three yards to convert for a new set of downs. They'll give it off here. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that. Not just flowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. Fourth down. The Vikings lining up to punt. He takes the ball at the 20. And the tackle was made by Henderson. You know, I like that return. Nothing flashy, but it was really effective. The thing I hate to see are guys that are dancing around back there trying to be a playmaker when they're really not. At least he got up the field, got a few yards. That's what I like to see. Passes it short. The stop was made by Chad Greenway. Hightower made the catch for a gain of six. Looks left. Here's a short pass. Chad Greenway was there to bring him down. I wish all our fans could see what's happening down the field on all our television broadcasts because so much of the game now is won and lost in the second. They'll gain eight on the play. Passes out to the left. Loose ball. Minnesota got it. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. They're on their own 35. And he'll just kneel it here. Brings up second down and about 12 yards to go. He takes a knee. That'll do it from the field. We have top plays and stats coming up next, so stay right with us. And let's take a look at the Gatorade, performer of the game.
This telecast is copyrighted by the NFL for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or of any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the NFL's consent is prohibited.